Sister Paul. Yes. I can't let this moment pass without saying something. Saying, expressing gratitude to what it and my admiration for who he is and how he expresses who he is. I look at the distinguished silver-haired senior before me today and my memory goes back these 37 years to the handsome young man who walked into my office to be interviewed for a job. I can't hear Black hair, black and no bear, black. And good years followed. I congratulated myself on my perception and good sense. I looked with interest as you showed scenes from his involvement in the school and that he's still in charge of the fire. Yes, and the fire drills we used to have, security, and the times when we had the phone calls about bump scares, and the times we had to have the children leave school and go to the square, and the times we decided we weren't doing it. Instead, Roger was in charge of making sure that the school was safe. I remember all of that with gratitude. But what I remember especially, and what I want to point to today, is how blessed we are when we are in relationship with people of integrity. Mm. And what it is a man of integrity. <laughs> in the 70s and early 80s, as today, there were few men on the staff of St. Joseph's Convent. And always, I suppose, in those early days, there was a little anxiety in an all-girls school. But from the very beginning, what it stood for principle, he stood for values, he stood for respect, and he held his ground where all of that was concerned. I never had a moment of worry. And when David said today, the influence he has had with the male staff, that didn't start now. That goes back 37, 34, 37, how many is it what you're doing? 37 years. Goes back 37 years. I remember the many times, I mean, was just asking Anna how old she is. I must have been maybe a little bit younger than her when Wajit joined the staff. And he was there as one of the few men in the staff room beside me at every crisis. At every crisis, I could know without having to ask that Roger would sense that I needed him, that I needed his support, and I needed a masculine presence, and he would be there. Roger, I thank you. I thank you. The memories are many, and I don't want to be too long. But you see, there are some people who are exceptional and who come into our lives, and we need to recognize them. And again, you spoke about his relig religious values. You see, when we come to depth in the human spirit, we get beyond religious differences. Because at the essence of who we are is God's presence. At the essence of who we are is truth and goodness. And the essence of who we are is love and joy and forgiveness and generosity and magnitude of spirit. At the essence of who we are. And I have never felt any divide, any wall between Wajid Malik as a Muslim and myself as a Catholic man. We stood on common ground. I thank you, Wajid. He was an outstanding presence in this school. When he started Eureka, again, you see, anything Wajit started, I never bothered him. 
<laughs> because there was absolute trust. There was absolute trust that it would be done well and it would be done with integrity. That there would be goodness and he would stand for principle. And when the children and the girls got out of hand and he would say to me, look sister, I don't like what's going on there. I knew he would take action or when he couldn't, he would invite me to do so on his behalf. Well, Jake, I thank you. I thank you for the inspiration that you have been to all of us, all of us through the years. I thank you for the generosity with which you have given. I thank you for your professional competence. I thank you for your commitment to family, for the love of your wife and your children and your grandchildren. I thank you especially for the depth of your spirit, for the largeness of your heart, for the breath of your mind, and for God's presence within you. God be with you now, with your wife, your children, your grandchildren, and always. Thank you so much, Sister Paul. Couldn't say it better. <laughs> now, for the moment we've been waiting for, Mr. Monik, this is your turn. So let us hear it for now. You know, yeah. I, I really want to thank you, Sister, and all the other speakers before, you know, for the many kind things you've said about me. This school is not just a school for me. This is a family. This is part of my family. I treasure St. Joseph's Convent, Port of Spain, as I treasure my own family. And the kinds of things I would do to protect and, and do for my family, I would do it here as well. And I'm still here doing it, you know, trying to do my best. <clears throat> like all human beings, I've made mistakes and so on as well, but, you know, God knows best and I, I trust that he will continue to guide me and help me in whatever I have to do. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to devalue <clears throat> what was said by making any of my silly jokes. So, <laughs> Carol says I can't help it, but yes, I can help it at times. <clears throat> so I just want to leave it at that, you know, and, um, and, and to say that I'm very happy to, to be back here you know, when I, when I heard that there were no available econ teachers, I couldn't leave the students, you know, unattended, so I had to come back. And, and, and both Anna and Maritza <coughs> were very happy and welcoming and having me back. You know, usually when, when, when a person goes, you say, okay, I mean, you could say goodbye, well done, or you could say good riddance, but they were, <laughs> they were happy to, <coughs> to have me back, and I'm happy to be here too. And I will continue to do the best I can in these circumstances. I want to thank every one of you, all members of staff. As I said in my speech, you know, I'm really awed by the way we are as a staff, not only in terms of competence, but in terms also of our dedication to duty here. And for the new members of staff who have come in, <coughs> you also will see the traditions we have, and you also, I hope, will follow these traditions and they will become part of you so that you will be a better teacher. Professionalism, concern for students, you know, treating students in the best possible way. Don't assume students are rude if they're misbehaving. Usually there is some problem with them and we need to get, you know, to the bottom of it as to why they behave the way they behave. I have a, <coughs> sorry Mrs. Crouch is not here because I heard her TV program yesterday and I greatly admire the work she's doing to engage in this transformative process for the young <coughs> students so that when they you know, move into school and move into adulthood, they would be better people. So once again, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this lovely gathering and thank you very much for staying on um, till the end. You know, but we don't always stay on till the end. <laughs> we slip out. Uh, thank you for staying on till the end. <laughs>